Okay, Victoria, uh, this is the Frickman, and you're asking about scale, so let's see what we have here. Uh, I'll pause and wait for it to open up. Hang on. Okay, Victoria, we're here, and yes, I know this is a tough one. This is a really tough one here. So I'm not sure where this property line is or... I think this is the house next door. These are the houses next door. So I'm not sure where the property line is here. But um, <clears throat> for this one, this is a pretty big line, so it's kind of hard to get close. Let's see what you have here. Is there's the line? It'd be best. Okay, 11.08 meters. I'm gonna see if I can do this one myself. Uh, just to check. This is a really tough one because of the trees. So I'm going to take a snapshot myself and see if I can bring it in. We can delete all of these other ones over here. That's from the old project. So, oh, I did not want to delete this guy. Bring everything up here. Okay. Let's see here. I'm just going to draw a line here. Save. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to take a snapshot myself and see if I can uh, bring it in here. I'll pause it for a second. Hi, Victoria, we're back, and I just wanted to point out, I think you did a great job. Now that I see that property line is really weird, and you did a great job uh, doing as best a job that you can. So uh, now I'm going to take a snapshot of the satellite view and see what I get here. You did a great job here. So uh, I'll pause it and then I'll be back after the snapshot. All right, Victoria, we're back. And uh, I took my screenshot here. I have that roof as being close to 32 feet. So that's about, yeah, 11 meters, 10, 11 meters. Let me turn this off. So. I'm going to draw a line here, 0, 31.17 feet. See, 31.17 times 12. 374.04 inches. Okay. That is a very small roof. Let's see here. See what we can do. Maybe we can. It looks like this part of the roof has is flat, or it's it's facing north. But maybe we can use it. Uh, hopefully, it's less than ten degrees. If it's less than ten degrees, then uh, we can just put the panels on that roof. So let's scale this here. So that looks to be about one third. So 0.3. A little bit bigger than that. Let's scale it again. 1.04, scale it again, scale to 1.03, okay, that looks pretty good, that looks pretty good, okay, so let's, let's do this roof, okay, L. now I'm going to rotate this, I'll show you how I do it because uh, this is a good example of how I do it. So I do red, uh, 30. Let's grab this whole thing. You have the original file, and then I just move it over here, and I'm going to rotate this. Rotate it. This is, this, this is, 
tilted enough to where I want to rotate it. So let me rotate it to be flat. That looks very good. That way I can draw straight lines. I wanted to show you this L and I can draw straight lines with my shift. See that? Because one, you draw those straight lines and then you offset them. Uh, it's easier to offset them. I'm not sure about this roof, but I think it goes right here. And it looks like it may start right there. I want to be drawing straight lines. That way we can offset. That looks like it goes all the way over. So Let's snap to that perpendicular. See, now when we offset them, they're going to be straight lines for us. So I'm not sure. It looks kind of like you draw the house first. It looks like you draw the house first and then you rotate it. But what I usually do is I rotate it first and then I draw the house, okay? Because it makes those lines a lot easier to uh, offset. So, you know, see that? Everything's straight lines. And it makes your, when you do the rafters, it makes that easier. Um, so I don't know. I just thought I'd give you that. That's what I do, but you don't have to change what you do since it looks very good, but it might be easier for you to uh, rotate it first and then draw the house. So let's see what we got here. All right, I'll continue drawing this and then I'll see about how the fit looks, okay? I'll pause it and then come back. I'm going to just continue this because I want to show you how to offset. So it looks like we're probably going to Let's do the offset here. Home. <laughs> offset. Okay, so we're drawing our fire code, 36 inches. Right there. And you're right, that scale is way. So we're going to be in the shade down here. Looks very hard. So it looks like this can be our fire code for this one. And it's going to be very hard for this guy to fit uh, 16 panels on this roof. Okay. But, uh, so that's just showing you the offset, how they offset uh, straight lines, okay? Instead of, if you're drawing, if you're drawing the house first and rotating them, these are not going to offset into straight lines, and it's going to be tougher for you to place the panels. So, um, I just wanted to show you that, because now they're straight lines, and I can snap to those straight lines. Okay, I'll be back uh, once everything's drawn. Hang on. All right, Victoria, the other reason why I wanted to show you to draw it straight like this is because we can draw the panel straight. So just do L, 78.5, and just do the, the shift key, draws them straight. And I think the other one is 38.4, 39.4, so 39.4. Okay, see how we can draw the panel straight? Uh, and we can just snap them to here. So uh, now I want to draw a polyline rectangle. And I like to keep that. So there's our panel. We can, there's our straight panel. See that? We can copy paste it. And I'll delete, del delete the original. That way we're not carrying around extra lines. And Let's see, now we can snap them. See how they snap perfectly together? Well, they're supposed to snap perfectly together. I don't know what it is. I, I just downloaded this new 2017 program. They haven't been snapping perfectly together, but I just wanted to show you that. Now I can move. <coughs> Okay, see how we can snap? And then now uh, I'm going to move this. I'm gonna, I can snap it right to that corner and everything aligns. See that? So we can delete that. This is going to be a really tough project for him to fit 16 panels. I think what I'm going to suggest is I'm going to place these panels here and I'm going to suggest that he do a ground mount. So there's some good sunshine some good sunshine over here this 
Okay. Uh, so what I think I'm going to recommend this guy to do is do a ground mount solar system. So you see he has some sunshine over here in this area and some sunshine over here. But it does still look like he has trees, but uh, he can cut down a couple of these trees, I think. That's what I'm going to suggest his best uh, avenue is. The best way to do this, to get 16 panels, is probably a ground mount situation. He has a lot of trees covering his house. So, um, yeah, it's just what I'm going to recommend to him. You can see here, I'm still going to complete this entire plan to try to fit 16 on, but I don't think I will. You know, I'm just going to do it as clean as possible and then send it to him and then see what he says. All right. I just want to tell you that, but thank you very much for uh, doing this. I'll pause now and I'll show you the final product. Okay. I'm going to complete this project. All right. Bye. Okay, Victoria, uh, this is just to show you how I do it. Uh, you did a, a good job with this property line. And remember, I typically don't draw the house uh, until after I've rotated it. So now I'm going to rotate it back. I've drawn the house and I move it. I just move the whole thing and I pick one corner to kind of rotate to. So it does look like I'll need to rotate it. And then I'll just rotate it using that one corner that I chose to be my point. So it doesn't look like it rotates very much, but uh, I try and, you know, line up everything. Looks like I rotate it maybe five degrees. And it looks pretty good. So that's what I'll use. And then I just select everything, control C, and that becomes my new property, my property view. Delete that white line. So that's good. That's my property view. And I'll place my scale here. I'll place my scale. I'll place it right here. Now probably, since this is such a big property, I'll probably place two scales. Uh, I'll do that. Because I'm using 2017, it's, it doesn't come in property, properly, so I have to, okay, so I'll place 60 feet there. And then uh, now I can kind of see where I want to show him. I can kind of see where I want to show him where I want to put that display order in the back. I want to show him where I want to put that ground mount. Let's see if I can line it up here again. So I'm going to line up this house. I like lining up that house. That looks pretty good. You did a great job there. So now I can see where I can put that ground mount. Okay. So I'm going to place the ground mount and then I'll, I'll pause and then I'll come back after it's placed. Okay, Victoria, I've drawn in the ground mount place. I saw that there could be sunshine here. And I like facing, if they're grandma, I like them to face directly south. So I'll give him that option. It does look like there's a contour. It looks like there's a hill here. So maybe they might have to go in the direction of the hill. But uh, I'm going to let him make that decision. I just want to give him options of placing these 16 panels. And if you see, I like, when it's grandma, I like placing them landscape like this instead of the portrait. The portrait is... The, the panels, the panel rails don't fit quite as well if they're portrait. So they're better if they're landscape orientation on the ground mount. So uh, I just want to give him a couple options here. And I, I gave him dimensions that he might need a trench because this is going to cost him money. So I think it's about a thousand dollars a foot to trench. So uh, I'm not sure, but in any case, uh, that's what this is, and I'm going to, now that I've done that, I can take it off this, control C, control V. So that becomes my layout or my site plan. And right here, I have my layout, okay? So that's how I draft things. It's a, it's a great opportunity to show you how I draft things. This was a very hard one, and so I'm gonna place these 
and I'm going to show you what the final product looks like. Okay, uh, so I'll be back with the final product. All right, thanks, Victoria. Okay, Victoria, I did change the tilt here. Uh, well, I just added a five degree because we're going to put it on that smaller roof. I think that is a five degree roof. It looks very uh, flat. And so um, I don't know what that roof is, but it looks like a five degree. And so I'm going to put, we have one roof at a five degree tilt and one roof at a 20 degree tilt. Now this is a very complicated one, so I did not expect you to do that, but uh, I just wanted to show you the change that I did. And we'll still build it for 16 because that's what he wants. We want him to build it for 16. That's what the gentleman wants. This all looks good. And that's good. Two strings of eight. Good. All right, I'll pause and, and place everything. Okay, so I brought it in at a 20 degree a 20 foot scale. It looks like it's gonna be too big, so let's scale it down. I already have the blue thing there, so I'm gonna hit scale. Let's see if we can do 30. So it's 30 feet to one inch. So 30 feet to one inch, that still looks pretty big. So let's bring it to 40 feet, one inch. Scale. There's 40 feet for one inch. And that looks like uh, it might fit. So let's uh, bring it over. It looks like it fits. Okay, so that scale is now 40 foot to one inch. I wanted to show you how I do that. And so now I can place all of the, all of the labels. Hang on, I'll be back. Okay, just wanted to show you uh, how I placed everything. So again, it's a small house. Oh, I forgot the roof access. We're at the roof access here, so we can put the roof access right there. And I just wanted to show you how I placed everything. And I'm going to put potential ground mount locations. I'll be back. I'm going to pause. OK, Victoria, uh, this is the final product I just wanted to show you. Um, I show three locations for potential ground mount. I have a note here, only 10 panels fit on a very shaded roof, possibly tilted north. Recommend a ground mounted system for this photovoltaic project. Potential locations for a ground mount system shown with trenching distances. So that's what I have there. But I still built the project as he wanted 16 on the roof. So I did the best he could. You can see that there's only 10 there. Okay, it's page two. Page three, he did, he actually did his own uh, electrical diagram for this. This guy is an electrician, so he's smart. He knows what he's doing. And so he built his own electrical system. And so I gave him that one. I let him do that. And it's, believe it or not, it's the exact one that you did but I also included the way that you built it the way that I built them just so he sees he has an option here you can choose either page to submit to the city okay and here is the data sheets And the placard file. And here's the placard file. And I just wanted to say thank you for your help on this and charge me the regular price. You did a great job. You did the best you could. So thank you very much, Victoria. Have a great day.